Alright, so The Gallows takes place 20 years after a boy dies in a freak accident during a school play. And on this anniversary of that event, the students are performing the same play in his honor. Now, instead of just quitting the play, some students decide to sneak into the school the night before and destroy the sets in order to stop the show. And of course, shit hits the fan. <laughs> Look, I'm not the biggest fan of found footage movies, but I know that there are some good ones out there, and this isn't one of them. Get him. The writing was lazy. Get him. So much so that they just used the actors actual names as the main character names. <laughs> now they did develop the characters, but to the point where I didn't even like them. I was actually looking more forward to how they would get killed rather than who would survive. <laughs> this movie has an 81 minute runtime and feels like it's two hours long. Boring. There was way too much time spent on how to destroy the set pieces, the girl this fool likes, and this guy acting like he's Michael Moore. Stupid. I'll keep it real. In the end, when you find out why and how this is all happening, it's a pretty cool concept. The only problem is, is it really wasn't fleshed out through the movie, so when they put it out there, I was like, oh damn, I wish I was watching the movie that went with that ending. Man, this is some bullshit! This movie wasn't scary, it wasn't creepy, it did have some jump scares far in between. The story was in... I'm not gonna lie, guys. I drank the Kool-Aid on this one, and I came out below disappointed. I'm giving the Gallows a 1 out of 5. Shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. Other than that, like, subscribe, I'm out.